what is that elusive something that we are always seeking but somehow never find? Is it happiness? Well, no, not really. If we think about it, much of what has brought us happiness in the past has also caused us pain through its loss or change. And whatever is making us happy is continually under threat of possible loss or change. So what do you think will make you happy forever? What do you imagine could bring us permanent happiness that would not also be susceptible to loss, destruction or change and then cause us pain and suffering? Money, possessions, relationship, status, glory. All of these can cause us pain and suffering, yet we blindly and frantically pursue them in our quest for lasting happiness. The truth is that whatever brings us happiness sooner or later causes us pain. This is a universal fact of life. Once happiness is acknowledged as coming from the same source as that of pain and is recognized as the fickle and fragile state that it is, then we may ask ourselves, why do we exist? What is this elusive something that we desperately seek yet never find? What is that emptiness that can still be felt even after achieving a goal? What is that haunting feeling of incompleteness trying to tell us? Ignoring discontent is in all of us all the time. However, we keep ourselves so distracted, so occupied with the demands of life that we hardly ever dare tune in to our deep unhappiness and listen intently to its call. It usually presents itself at different times in our life beckoning us to question ourselves, our values and the meaning of our lives. Unfortunately, we usually don't confront these questions unless or until we are faced with extreme pain or suffering. Life crises tend to provide the stimulus for us to stop long enough to question life and its meaning. The question is, what do we earn for so deeply? And the answer which doesn't come in the form we may expect is, we yearn deeply for an infinite absolute communion with love itself. The experience that we seek and that will ultimately satiate all our physical, emotional, mental and spiritual hungers, and always will be, to know ourselves as a whole, integrated infinite beings. We want freedom from chaos, fear, insecurity and confusion. We want liberation from scarcity, limitation and mediocrity. The fact remains that we cannot ever know real safety, real peace, real security, real love or real joy until we acknowledge and willingly initiate this journey to wholeness. We will never be free from chaos and be able to fully commune with love itself until we identify the one and only cause separation from our source of all our pain and suffering.